Hi friends. Uh, you know, I woke up this morning and I, <sighs> there's a lot going on. I'm living in this RV that's just parked right now before I get on the road. Uh, complete transformation of my life. I'm not in the mountains anymore. <laughs> As you can hear the neighbor's dog. Uh, it's beautiful here, but but I am so out of my element. And I think it's really important to share when you look at somebody like me. Um, I've traveled across the whole United States because I feel there is a calling. The Lord is calling me. And not everybody, you know, not everybody has the same calling. We're, we're, all, we're all unique. Uh, the Lord uses us uh, in so many different ways. We all can't be missionaries going to Africa or going to Zimbabwe. I used to think that. No. Our mission field is where he puts us. And that can be in our own home, at work, can be in an RV, wh wherever. He doesn't call everybody to leave and just go. But he has called me to do that. But you also have to remember it's been seven years in the making, seven years of transformation for the Lord working in my life to get me to this point. But this morning, I, I'm, I'm like a lot of you. Uh, when you're going through things in your life, going through things in your life that are new, that are, uh, you know, new waters, new territory, you're unsure. Maybe you got a new job, maybe you're starting school, maybe you, you have a move coming up. The only thing that you can rely on and really trust is the Lord. And he wanted me to share this this, this morning with with you. And, and you know, when I share my devotions and I share my testimony, it is always on the prompting of the Holy Spirit. It's not my flesh saying, I need to get this video out and, and tell people this. It's It's always when I'm in the midst of my devotion that he'll speak to me and say, I need you to share this to the flock. And that's what I'm doing this morning. Um, to those of you who are going through changes, uncertainty, uh, you're, you're out, outside your routine, uh, you're feeling miscombobulated, this is when you have to stop and allow the Holy Spirit to breathe in you and you need to trust. And, and my devotion started off this morning right away reminding me of that. It said, trust me and don't be afraid. You know, um, when we lack trust in the Lord, that's where the fear comes in because that's when the enemy comes. He is very good at preying on our anxiety and our fear. He's very good at bringing people into our lives to uh, uh, lay seeds of doubt. He'll use whatever he can to, to uh, give us those unsettling feelings and uh, forget about relying on Christ. But the devotion starts off by saying, trust me and don't be afraid. Many things feel out of control. Your routines are not running smoothly. You tend to feel more secure when your life is predictable. Isn't that the truth? Let me lead you to the rock that is higher than you and your circumstances. Take refuge in the shelter of my ring, ring, wings where you are absolutely secure. There is a psalm, and I want to share that with you. When I was um, crying out to the Lord in pain, I lost my job. I, um, you know, things were changing very rapidly. I, I was there alone in my apartment. And uh, even though I had my connections with my sisters, uh, I was alone, but I really wasn't. If I didn't have the Lord, I don't know how I would get through. And he brought me his word to fill me during that time. And, and when you are feeling that desperation, when you're feeling that, that being shaken to the core, you have to go to God's Word. I don't know how many times I can I can preach this. You have to go to God's Word. And all you have to do is close your eyes and pray to Him. And He will lead you. You open up that Bible and you allow the Holy Spirit. And this is what I do. You just allow the Holy Spirit to tell you where to go. The Bible is here to speak to you. So this morning, here I am, and yes, I'm feeling that um, I'm out of my routine. Things are, 
you know, I'm living in, in this RV and it's still in a, a state of disarray. I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. And then he brings me this devotion. He reminds me of the rock that I'm standing on. He reminds me of the refuge that he is. And then he tells me, go to my psalm. Go to my psalm. And, uh, oh, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> I just opened this up. I just, I just, you saw while I was just paging through. I just opened this up and, um, there we go. Psalm, Psalm 62. Truly my soul silently waits for God. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and salvation. See how that works? <laughs> I was just paging through here and telling you, let the Spirit lead you. Um, he is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long, will, how long will you attack a man? You shall be slain, all of you, like a leaning wall and a tottering fence, the only consult to cast him down from his high position. They delight in lies, they bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectations is from Him. He is my only rock and salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength, and my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is our refuge for us. What did I just read in my devotion? Okay, what did the devotion just say? Let me lead you to the rock that is higher than you and your circumstances. Take refuge in the shelter of my wings where you are absolutely secure. And here I am. What is he saying? What is he saying? <sighs> Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. You know that God will confirm things in a devotion when you go to his word like I just did and you open it up and he speaks again to you in confirmation. Uh, I'm going to go on and read the, the rest of the devotion. It says, when you are shaken out of your comfortable routines, grip my hand tightly and look for growth opportunities. Instead of bemoaning the loss of your comfort, mm, isn't that something? Mm. Accept the challenge of something new. Accept the challenge of something new. I lead you on from glory to glory, making you fit for my kingdom.